Did you get hit in the face? Newly released police body cam video shows more of the moments from an August incident in Utah between Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. We want to know the truth if he actually hit you. Because you know, I guess, yeah, but I him first. Where did he hit you? Don't don't worry, just well, be he, honest. Like, grabs my face. Just, like, slap your face or what? Well, like he like grabs me like with his nail, and I guess that's why it looks. Like, I normally have a cut right here, so I can feel it. Yeah. Cut your burns. The video, taken more than five weeks before Petito was discovered dead near a campground in Bridger Teton National Forest. Moab City Police pulled over the couple's van on August the 12th, separating Petito and Laundry after they said a witness reported seeing a man hit a woman in the face. She gets really worked up, and when she does, she swings and she had her cell phone in her hand, so I was just trying to push her away. Well, to be honest, I definitely hit him first. Where'd you hit him? I stopped him. You, you slapped him first, and then just on his face. And you get to just shut up. Police previously released shorter videos of the incidents, but the newly expanded version also includes conversation between officers on the scene. In no way, shape, or form that I can perceive does what happened here—a little slap fight between fiancés who love each other, want to be together. Can I perceive that this is going to digress into the situation where he's going to be a battered man? Right. But then again, I don't have a crystal ball. According to the police report, the responding officer initially described the altercation as a mental emotional health break, not a domestic assault. Earlier this month, the city of Moab, Utah, announced it's launching an independent investigation into the way officers handled that incident. In Florida, FBI agents combed the Laundry family home again Thursday, departing with this bag. You know where Brian Laundry is? An attorney for the Laundry family says the feds picked up personal items belonging to Brian to assist canine teams in their search for him. The lawyer also confirming Brian Laundry purchased a new cell phone just days after returning to Florida without Petito, a phone that is currently in the FBI's possession. Investigators have not named Laundry as a suspect in Petito's death. As for the city of Moab, they say they have no comment right now on this additional video, guys, or on the status of their investigation into that incident. As for the police department there in Utah, they did not respond to NBC News' request for comment. Hoda, back to you. All right, Sam Brock for us there in Coral Gables. Sam, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.